Welcome guys to a very special 50 Amazing Facts, episode 50. You guys were looking forward to something very special for this episode and I promised it to you. So I thought to myself, why not have an animated knowledge whale? Actually, in fact, why not make the entire episode animated? So, without further ado, here we go. Here are 50 amazing facts to blow your mind. Episode 50. The United Kingdom has a right to roam, which allows public access for walking and leisure to mountains, moors, heaths, and downs that are privately owned. The reason that buildings in Hong Kong have gaping holes in them is to allow dragons free passage from their mountain homes to the sea. Well, I guess tradition goes a little too far in some places. The bull on the Elmer's Glue logo is the husband of Elsie, the cow on the Borden Milk logo. In the Godfather film, McCluskey's shooting was done by building a fake forehead on top of actor Sterling Hayden. A gap was cut in the middle, filled with fake blood, and bunged up with prosthetic flesh. The plug was then yanked out with a fishing line to make a hole suddenly appear. So gross. Up to 40% of tuna imported to the US from Thailand is illegal or unreported, followed by up to 45% of pollock imports from China and 70% of salmon imports. Illegal fish, who knew? According to the patent for toilet paper, the creator, Seti Wheeler, made a drawing that officially shows that toilet paper should go over, not under. Well, that's gonna settle a lot of debates. The phrase, always a bridesmaid, never a bride, was popularized by Listerine in ads, featuring a lovelorn woman unable to find a husband due to her halitosis. The same ad coined the term halitosis. According to an analysis done by SwiftKey, Canada uses the poop emoji more than any other country. Hearts are number one in France, even beating the standard smiley, and Australia leads the world in alcohol and drug-related emojis. The NYPD has undercover cop cabs. Some police stations have recently created safe exchange zones, designated areas for trades arranged through Craigslist and similar sites. The original creator for the Barbie doll, Jack Ryan, had previously designed military-grade missiles. Well, from one extreme to the next, I guess. Former Venezuelan president Hugo Chavez stated that Muammar Gaddafi was welcome in Venezuela, but stated that Charlie Sheen was not, and that, quote, there are limits. There's a Detroit company called Extreme Kidnapping where people pay up to $1,500 to get tied up and kidnapped for fun. I don't understand what's fun about that. In 1990, a man named Jesse Sharp paddled over the Niagara Falls in a kayak. He intended to paddle on after the fall to a restaurant downstream where he had made restaurant reservations, but he didn't wear a life jacket in case it impeded his escape. His body was never found. Back in 1993, it was discovered that Heidelberg University in Germany was using human corpses in crash tests. Hydrogen peroxide is not recommended for cuts and wounds and actually slows healing by killing the healthy skin cells. In 2010, after the BP oil spill, Stephen Colbert declared that every time he said the word Bing, the Microsoft search engine would donate $2,500 to oil spill cleanup efforts. He managed to say Bing 40 times, thereby raising $100,000 for his charity, the Colbert Nation Gulf of America Fund. On the set of the movie Apocalypse Now, the production cast design decided to actually use real bodies instead of fake ones. It was only discovered when a pungent odor became too strong for the rest of the cast to ignore. There's an annual conference called the Boring Conference on, well, boring things. In the past, people have given talks on barcodes, sneezing, and the sounds of vending machines. The Muppet Show received a letter from a man informing them that the Swedish chef doesn't actually speak Swedish. The head writer wrote back, Thank you for bringing this to our attention. We were going to fire the chef on the spot, but he has a wife and family and promised to take Swedish lessons. Gotta love a sense of humor. 
The day after Robin Williams' suicide, the National Suicide Prevention Lifeline fielded the greatest number of calls in its history. The Lego Movie incorporated actual fan-made short Lego films into its plot. You can see them on the monitors in the scene where the citizens discover their creativity. Platypuses don't have stomachs, in fact they're not the only jawed vertebrates with that trait. Michigan oncologist Dr. Farid Farah was convicted and sentenced to 45 years in prison after it was discovered that he had bilked 553 cancer patients for millions of dollars by over-treating, under-treating, misdiagnosing, and even administering treatment to people that never had cancer in the first place. Yeah, there's a special place in hell for that guy. The police in West Germany located a man who had a warrant for unpaid fines. They confronted him just as a slot machine that he was at struck a jackpot, and he avoided jail time by paying the fine on the spot. A school in Pune, India encourages students to conserve water by pouring leftover drinking water from the bottles in a large tank before they go home every day. They use this to water plants and trees or for other non-drinking purposes. Takuya Nagaya, 23, from Japan, started to slither on the floor and claimed that he had become a snake. His mother thought that he had actually been possessed by a snake and called for her husband, Katsumi. He spent the next two days headbutting and biting his son to, quote, drive out the snake, but uh, caused his death in the process. Tasmania has an extra day of Easter, known as Easter Tuesday. It is only celebrated in Tasmania. Kamala Devi, a 56-year-old Indian woman, was ambushed by a leopard and actually managed to kill it with the only thing that she had on her, an iron sickle. For the film Gone Girl, David Fincher wanted Ben Affleck to wear a Yankees cap for a scene. Affleck, a die-hard Red Sox fan, adamantly refused, and this led to a four-day production halt until the two came to an agreement that he would wear a Mets cap. D-Day was originally set for June 5th, but had to be postponed for 24 hours due to bad weather. The green ink used in American money was actually invented at McGill University in Montreal, Canada in 1857 by Thomas Sterry Hunt. Cold foods like ice cream cause brain freeze by causing a sudden surge of blood to the brain. A team of archaeologists found what they believe to be the world's oldest board game in a 5,000-year-old Bronze Age burial site in Turkey. They believe that board games originated in Egypt in the Fertile Crescent. The Tumblr for the Dark Knight trilogy is actually a working vehicle, not a CGI model. Okay, where can I get one of those? The most expensive guitar pick costs, brace yourself, $4,674 and is made out of a meteor. It's made by the company Starpix. There's a UK-based company named Gumdrop that recycles gum into bins that are made out of entirely recycled gum. There is a territory in Costa Rica called Territorio de Zaguates, which means Land of the Strays, which is basically a huge no-kill dog shelter where you can hike for free with dogs. Little teeny tiny pooches! In the 1960s and 70s, professional bowlers were international celebrities who made twice as much money as NFL stars at the time. It's believed that the term sandwich was named after John Montague, 4th Earl of Sandwich, a town in the county of Kent in southeast England. He would ask his servants to bring him slices of meat between two slices of bread while he was gambling at a table so that he wouldn't have to leave the game. President Reagan saved Harley-Davidson motorcycles by raising tariffs 45% on Japanese bikes that entered the country. Oscar the Grouch was originally orange, not green. According to a study published in the Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences, female named storms have historically killed more people because people neither consider them as risky nor take the same precautions as the male named storms. Yeah, you should probably not even consider the name of the storm. Just, it's a tornado, man. Go hide. In 2008, a Jamaican beach called Coral Spring Beach was actually stolen and the thieves were never caught. They achieved this by stealing massive amounts of sand until it basically wasn't a beach anymore. We not only have fingerprints, but also toe prints that have been used in criminal cases. 
The headphone jack on your smartphone has remained relatively unchanged other than size since 1878. During World War II, Japan launched balloons with bombs into the jet stream. The only known mainland attack in the U.S. occurred when five picnickers found a downed balloon and attempted to move it. The bomb went off and killed them. The locations of many of the balloons is still unknown. The delicious treat of peeps were once made by hand and took nearly 30 hours to create. Rats are a delicacy in Thailand. <laughs> At one point after its launch, Kim Kardashian's emoji app was making $1 million a minute. And that's all for this episode, guys. Huge thanks to Thought Cafe for animating this episode. They make some really, really cool stuff over on their YouTube channel, so if you want to check them out, be sure to click here or click the link in the description. And while you're at it, be sure to click that like button if you enjoyed this historic episode 50 of 50 Amazing Facts, and be sure to leave a comment letting me know what you thought of it. I will see you in the next video. Love you guys so much. Thank you for watching. Animated Knowledge Whale out.